The navigation pane is a very useful tool for moving about in Microsoft Outlook. For example, you can use the buttons at the bottom of the pane to switch to different components, such as mail or tasks, and then use the folder list above to move to different folders within them. The navigation pane appears in all Outlook views by default, but it's context sensitive. This means its contents change depending on which part of Outlook you are currently viewing. However, the section at the bottom of the navigation pane always stays the same and is used to switch between areas of Outlook. You want to move around within Outlook, so you will use the buttons on the navigation pane to switch to some different areas available in Outlook. Outlook Mail appears by default. From left to right, we see the Navigation pane, the View pane, the Reading pane, and the To-Do bar. The contents of the Navigation pane change according to what you're looking at. We can see that in the Mail area, it includes Favorites, Mail folders, and the buttons below that allow us to move to different areas in Outlook. Let's use one of the buttons to switch to the calendar now. The Outlook Calendar is an extremely useful time management tool. You can use it to schedule and keep track of meetings, appointments, and other events. As we can see, it shows a monthly calendar in the navigation pane that we can use to see the current day or navigate to another one. Let's move on to Contacts. Now we're in Outlook Contacts, which displays all of the contact records stored in our address book as well as the to-do bar on the far right. Notice that in the current view section of the Home tab, there are many different ways in which we can view our contacts. By default, they're viewed as electronic business cards, and in the navigation pane, we can click different contact folders to change which contacts to view. For now, let's go back to Mail. We've returned to where we started. Now let's try minimizing the navigation pane, which comes in handy if you want to make more of the screen available to read your messages or other Outlook items. We can do this by clicking the Minimize the Navigation Pane button, the left-facing arrow at the top right of the navigation pane. The navigation pane is now minimized, but still not completely out of view. Notice that there are still buttons on the pane that we can use to jump to different areas of Outlook. Let's expand our navigation pane back to its full size by clicking the Expand the Navigation Pane button located in the same portion of the navigation pane. Here's the pane expanded again with all of its parts in view. Remember, all of the important areas in Outlook can be accessed by simply clicking a button on the navigation pane. You can think of the buttons as shortcuts to different areas of Outlook that add convenience and save time.